Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. Martinez here. I'm going to read a Bible story, and we're going to pray first. Then we're going to work on a worksheet together. It's going to be lots of fun, this new way of learning. But hey, it's different, right? It's different times, so we're going to have fun anyway with our Bible and our lessons. So let's begin with a prayer. Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless my kids, bless their families, and bless all of the teachers and everyone that's working hard to, to move on along and just learn a different way, Lord. We know that you're with us every day, and we just ask for a special blessing for the students just to focus as we go through a little bit of a hard time these days, Lord. In your name we pray, amen. Okay, boys and girls, this is the story of Noah. And Noah, remember, he was asked by God to build a boat. So Noah was very obedient and listened to God. And he got right to work. Him and his three sons chopped down trees and they sawed zzz, and chop, 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 chop. They cut down the trees and they started building and they put boards together and they made long, long sheets of boards to build the big boat that God called an ark. When it was all ready, God told Noah to put different animals in two by two. So Noah built a ramp and two by two, the animals got in the ark, remember? So did his family. So Noah, his family, and all these different animals went on the ramp into the ark. And then when it rained and it rained and it rained and the water started rising and there was flood all over the world, then Guess what, boys and girls? Noah was safe in the ark with his family and with all the animals that God had asked him to put in. Boy, it must have been tough to be in that ark. Even though God also told Noah to fill the ark with food. So there was grains, there was there was hay, and there was water. So everybody was fed as they were in the ark. No one starved, but it still was hard. Kind of like us right now, where we have to stay indoors, right? Well, you can do it just like the animals and Noah and his family did. Everything will pass. So then after, Noah had to see when there was dry land, so Noah and his family had been inside the big boat for a long time. But then God said, Noah, come out of your ark now. Bring your family with you and bring all those birds and other animals that have been living in the ark with you too. What a day that must have been. At last, Noah and his family and all those birds came out of the ark. It must have looked like a parade as the animals came down the ramp. Noah and his family have been very happy. Noah opened the great big door of the ark. Hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity came floppy eared rabbits. And woolly lambs said, Bah! as they skipped out of the door. Thump, thump, thump. The elephants came out, waving their trunks. Trot, trot, trot came the horses. The ducks quacked and waddled. The chickens clucked, buck, buck, and wobbed, wobbled up and down. And the birds flew high, high up in the sky. Finally, all the birds and other animals were out of the ark. Now Noah and his family walked down the ramp. They stood on dry ground, looking at each other. They stretched and breathed clean, fresh air. 
The first thing Noah did was thank God. He thanked God as they stood in dry ground, looking at each other. And they were thankful that they were finally able to walk on the dry ground. God showed his first love for Noah and his family. God made a wonderful promise. God promised, I will never again cover the whole earth with water. I will put a rainbow in the sky to remind everyone of my promise. And there, high in the sky, shone a beautiful rainbow. It was a reminder of God's promise. Of course, Noah and his family remembered God's promise every time they saw a rainbow. And even now, whenever you see a rainbow, boys and girls, we can remember God's love and how he will help us. And that's what the story of Noah is about. And it's a true story because it comes from the, that's right, Bible. Now, if you can take your sheet, your worksheet, and if you can just go ahead and look at the front of it, and it says to fill in what happened first. What do you think happened first? Did the flood come first? Did the rainbow come first? Or did the first thing that Noah did do is build the ark? Hmm, think about it. Can they float on the water without it being built first? No. Did you fill in this bubble here? Did you choose Noah as building the ark first? You did. Well, that's good. You're right. Now, all you need to do, boys and girls, is you can color the blue water and the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Makes the rainbow bright, bright, bright. You get to choose your crayons, colored pencils or markers, whatever you have, and color the beautiful rainbow. Okay? On the back, boys and girls, there is the worksheet that is color by number, and you get to choose whatever color it is here. Number two, for example, the fire is two. Oh, it's orange, so just color that fire in the flames all in orange. All right? Easy peasy. You get to do this all by yourself. So you can click off, we're done with the video, and you can do this all by yourself. All right? Okay, boys and girls, I'll see you tomorrow for Bible. And don't forget, God loves you, I love you too. And we can do this. See you soon. Bye.